Well, and of course, the Texas school massacre is not the only mass shooting to happen just this month. Another 10 people were killed during the racially motivated shooting in Buffalo at that top supermarket just 11 days ago, reigniting conversations about gun control. Chelsea Swift joins us now with more on both sides of that debate. Chelsea. Jill and Sean, individuals on both sides of the argument say these shootings are heartbreaking. However, they disagree on the solution to this problem. Recent mass shootings are prompting leaders and community members to debate gun control laws. Earlier this month, a mass shooting at a grocery store in Buffalo killed 10 innocent people. On May 24th, 21 individuals were killed during a mass shooting at an elementary school in Texas. One Benedictine sister says since the Sandy Hook shooting, more action should be taken to address these senseless acts of gun violence. Here we are 10 years later, many shootings along the way, and we still have not made any significant action to control the use of guns, the purchase of guns in our country. Sister Schmidt says those who are concerned should take action. The first thing we need to do is everyone needs to rise up and contact their Congress person and say enough is enough. Please, would you pass some legislation that would move us to safety measures for guns? The owner of a local gun shop says news of shootings like this is heartbreaking to gun owners. However, he says not all of them should be penalized. Any American gun owner has heartfelt sympathy for those families. That's the first thing we think of. The political arena does not address the problem. It wants to go after guns. McDowell says guns are not the issue. It's the individuals who are buying them. We need to find out what can be done to take these people out of society, not off the streets, out of society. Several say those who are concerned should reach out to members of Congress, and others continue to say it's their second amend amendment right. Jill? Okay, Chelsea Swift, thank you.